everybody it is i'm chris thompson i'm mike mandel we're here together we want to talk about john grinder awesome nlp co-founder and trainer and his chain of excellence and we're going to start off by talking about how mike learned it explain briefly what it is and, and how, how we've the been rails. and how we've been calling it by the wrong name For all these a long years. time and this is bringing correction right. and an apology interestingly uh, i studied with my mentor derek bomber and he brought John Grinder to Toronto. I, I think this is about 25 years ago now, Chris. In the 90s, right? In the I mean, 90s, the late 90s. And we had a great time, an amazing training for an entire weekend. And this John Grinder, I'd never met him, but I'd obviously heard the legends. This is a guy, I was blessed to have lunch with him. And he dropped so many quality bits of information in the conversation. You just sit there drinking from a fire hose. Yeah. And I was just blown away thinking, how do I learn all this? How do I remember all this? But it was a fabulous weekend. But one of the things he had mentioned through the course of that weekend, almost like a one-off, like just a, an aside, he talked about how you can affect your behavior through, you know, your performance mm -hmm. in anything by your state, by changing the state, et cetera, going all right. the way up through physiology to breathing yeah, we'll, shifts. We'll yeah. take, take 30 seconds. So yeah, we've yeah. Got, at the bottom, we had performance. your performance. So what you're doing is at any moment in time is your performance, right. which was controlled by the your state, you're state in. Yeah. which you can steer with your physiology, yep. which you can then, of course, steer even further with breathing shifts. Yes. And I recall he said he was looking at in the future, we'd probably change brainwaves, which were above mm -hmm. everything. And I thought this was just profound. And he has just so much information to teach that one weekend, it's everything is just bits and pieces it, and tons of awesome of stuff. information. In fact, that's why I've said forever, when mm -hmm. I tell any of my students, Anybody will know. I said, I've had two great teachers, Donald Thane, my grade six teacher who got me fascinated by learning mm -hmm. and curiosity. John Grinder is the best teacher I've ever had. And I have modeled my presentation style and congruence from him mm -hmm. because I absolutely got the most from him. And I've said that forever. All right. So now at the time you learned this, this performance model, which you called it John Grinder's performance oh, I didn't, model. I didn't have right? no, it was years later. I started thinking about it a couple of years later and bringing it in, demonstrating to people how we could change their physiology and their mm -hmm. breathing. And this in a real minimalist way of looking at it because I didn't have the whole thing that it's become. So in this sort of simplified way, I was still getting amazing results demonstrating this mm -hmm. to people, but I didn't have a name for it. It was sort of an aside. So I called it that performance thing, high performance thing that John Grinder said. And then it sort of got over short. time. And over it got time, shortened it got into... shortened to John Grinder's model. And finally, just so people knew what I was talking about, to say the John Grinder model. Because those who know us know we mm -hmm. all. The key. Now, if you're watching this and you're, you're picking up anything, just make sure habit of crediting the source for what you learn. Mm -hmm. A lot of the people that we know in the hypnosis and NLP fields, they do this already. So if you're the kind of person who wants people to think it's your material, don't do that. No. Okay. If the most obscure reference should always be taken back to the. So I called it the render model mm -hmm. just to try to credit the source of this remarkable teacher. And we did this for years off and on showing people mm -hmm. how to do this. Well, guess what? I had it completely wrong because this was developed more completely. And I think John put it in his book, Whispering it's in, in, Whispering the, wind, in with, the Wind with Carmen Bostic. They wrote this amazing book. Yeah. And which if you can get a copy, get it, but you'll probably it's hard pay to an, get. Arm, an arm and a leg to get it. It's not easy to get. Now, so what's it officially called? A print? No, not the book. <laughs> the classic? Right. The, the method. The method. The, oh, the method. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were talking about the book. So this is called Chain of Excellence. Mm -hmm. That's the real name for it since it's being developed and extended even more. And so, that's the name we're going to call it from, from now, now on, on forever. In fact, we had written a blog post, or actually mm -hmm. one of our staff had written a blog post on the Grinder model, so-called incorrect. And John was gracious enough to contact to say that this was all wrong. It's wrong. And Change we it. said, we're going to put it right. Yep. So we were, we fixed the blog. And this video is to say, we were wrong. <laughs> we're going to call it by the right name from now on, which is Chain of Excellence. Right. And if you can possibly do any training with John Grinder and with Carmen Bostic, do it. This guy is the world-class NLP guy. And we are very, very grateful for this opportunity to fix things. So sorry, John, you know, my heart was in the right place. Yeah. And whenever you're using this or talking about it, it's obviously an interpretation of simple. When we summarize it, it's a simplistic summarization right. of the main techniques. It was but minimalist. It's a fantastic model. Definitely use it. And that's pretty much all we had to say. So it's chain of excellence. And check out johngrinder.com mm -hmm. and learn from his amazing trainings. We highly recommend what he and Carmen are doing. So thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks again. again. And. and